And so, what have you been doing with our uh, African Boogie series? Um, so what I've been what I've been doing is that our African Boogie series, uh, we're definitely going to be talking a lot about Africa. We're going to be looking at our African masks. We're going to be looking at uh, traditional rain dances. I'm actually going to have um, I'm going to be look, I'm looking at some YouTube videos right now, trying to get some African dances uh, being shown in the classroom. Uh, we're going to be working on that. We're going to be working on some uh, tools. We're going to make some uh, tools out of supplies that I'm finding at random spots we're going to be using. We're going to be doing a lot of um, looking at looking at the gods and stuff like that, a lot of history sort of stuff in Africa. Uh, we're also going to be looking at rugby. I kind of want to look at rugby a little bit because I know that's really big in Africa, uh, especially in southern, uh, South Africa. I know that's really big. And so we're going to be kind of looking at rugby, what's the difference between rugby and football, and then we're going to do, we're actually going to make team, we're going to make team jerseys based off of rugby style. Um, so, yeah, and we're trying to mix that culture in. So the main thing that I want to get the curriculum in is mixing uh, the African culture with Western culture, trying to see what uh, matches and what doesn't match. And so does that sound? That sound okay? No, yeah, yeah, no, that sounds that sounds really good. I think that um, what you need to do is maybe integrate a little bit more classical. Uh, try to get something more like um, if you do something like jungle, do something with the tropical forest. I mean. They would get a kick out of it. They have to make their own travel for us. It would be really cool. Um, we could even do something. We, I'm overstocked with pipe cleaners. You could probably take some pipe cleaners from my room and we can do this. And we can do something with the forest. We could do something with. Oh, we could do something with the Nile. We can do. We can do something with Egypt because Egypt is not. Egypt is not. No, Egypt is not. No, I'm sorry. So, whew, this is why I'm not teaching geography. Um, but we can we can talk about um, we can talk about just some of the different countries in there. We can talk about we can talk about a lot of things in there. And so just let's look a little bit more into the class school. I, I like the run of the idea. I would have never thought of that, but you uh, you definitely want to hit more class school. You want to go back a little bit and then right before it. We want to integrate class school to get to the contemporary to show that everything is reflected. And definitely to uh, make sure, and that's a really good point, um, make sure too when you uh, are designing the projects, make sure that these projects are highly independent because that was a big thing our students talked about last year, was they wanted more independent ones and less lecture. So we need to find, a, so I'm suggesting to make it more independent, the learning style, we give them a small chapter in the textbook or we just print off an article they read the article, they have to write a short paper on it, and then they can do the, art, the artwork. Uh, because that makes more sense instead of just giving them an art piece and then talking about it. If we want to make this highly independent, I think that would be the best way to do that. I mean, do we pretty much have an agree agreement on it? I think, I think we do. I think we have pretty much an agreement on it. So, okay. Um, so, okay, so we need to figure out, okay, so that takes us to the end. Was there anything else that we wanted to hit? Um, I don't think... There was anything else? Is there anything else from you guys that you wanted to talk about real quick? No, that sounds really good. That sounds sounds like a pretty effective meeting. It sounds like uh, we had a very effective meeting. No, no questions. No questions at all. Um, okay, so we need to figure up uh, some more. Okay, so we need to figure up our action action items for next month. We need to figure out what we need to do. Um, so some things we need to do. Uh, I think we need to just kind of look at. It. We need to look at our. Uh, we need to be looking more towards integrate uh, cross referencing a lot of different subjects. I think we really need to include that in a lot of our things. We're doing really good with history. We're doing really good with history, but we need to do a little bit better with. Um, we need to do a little bit better with some of the other things. But, it's really good, uh, Mr. Dickman, that you got into the kind of statics, but uh, maybe we can see if we can do a little bit more of that. And so, and I'll definitely, I'll use that in my class, so I'm definitely going to steal that from you right now. Um, what else do we need to hit? Uh, do you see anything we need to make sure we remember for next, the next meeting? Uh, yeah, we definitely need to hit the... Uh, Uh, I think we just need to do a little bit more with pre-assessment. I mean, I like how we do the, um, 
the, the bell work kind of thing, but I think we need to do a little bit more variety in that because I think um, all three of us do the same exact bell work. Or we, or we all do bell work, so I think we need to find some other form of pre assessment to do that. Um, just so our student, just so uh, some of our students that have my advanced one, just so some of the students don't have, just so we're not doing the same thing. So the students that come from your class to go to my class to go to, to go to your class are going to have the exact same thing. We want a little bit of difference. We want a little bit of a difference. I think that would be good for our students. So I'm gonna, I'll do some research on some more pre-assessment, pre-assessment in our, and I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, what about you, Mr. Mr. Dickman? Anything sound good to you? Well, I guess I'm gonna look into more of the uh, background of the African Boogie for our African Boogie Club, and I'll look into more. And I'll actually, I'll help you out with uh, looking up some guest speakers. I think I have a couple people in mind that I want to do, and so we'll work on that. Um. Okay then, if there is, if there's nothing else uh, for the good of the meeting, then we'll go ahead and dismiss.